Adolescence is a time of change and growth. All of these changes can be confusing. The goal of our sex education unit is to provide students with accurate information about the human body and reproduction. This will help them gain an understanding of themselves in relationship to responsible decision making. This information will be presented in a factual, unbiased manner at the student's appropriate maturity level. By participating in this unit of study, students will begin to see that there are physical and emotional consequences of sexual activity. Peers can have a big influence on a teen's decisions. We will define what it means to have responsible peer relationships and how to watch out for unhealthy behavior. Students will be introduced to the structures and functions of the male and female reproductive system. Through the use of correct anatomical terms, students will begin to recognize the physical changes which occurred during adolescence. We will also describe emotional changes related to puberty. This will help students learn to analyze the physical, mental, and emotional implications of teen pregnancy. In our AIDS and Related Communicable Disease Unit, students will learn the relationship between HIV and AIDS. They will be able to describe how sexually transmitted infections are acquired and describe the signs, symptoms, and prevention of various sexually transmitted infections. We will also describe ways to reduce the risk of HIV. Sexual responsibility means making informed decisions and safer choices, including abstinence. In this unit, students will learn the importance of seeking advice from a trusted adult or medical professional when concerned about problems related to the reproductive system. During this unit, we will review the role of abstinence in preventing pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections and explore health risks and misinformation regarding the use of contraceptives. Students are encouraged to maintain a positive and open communication with parents and guardians at all times, a practice that will help them throughout their life. As the parent or guardian, if you approve of your child having this instruction, please indicate your approval by signing the permission form provided on your student's course site. This will need to be returned in the first week of class. Thank you for taking the time to be a part of your student's educational process.